Okay, students, very quick video because I had a question with students wanting to answer this thing here. Um, how do we fill in the data in this table? The table asks for the order number, order date, customer number, and customer date for a particular order. Now, the problem with this, what makes this a little bit hard, um, that you might find it, that, that uh, you, you might not be able to do it unless you think about it a bit hard, is that the data required to, um, to, to answer this, you need to look in two tables. Uh, so, what do I mean there? Let's see if I can get, um, yeah, so I've got all the tables here, customer table, order table, etc. In the customer table, that's where we have um, the customer number and the customer name. In the order table, can you see the customer name there? The order table does not have the customer name. It, don't, it has a customer number, but not the customer name. So, how we get that information all together, uh, and you can see that here, here's the result. Um, how we get that all together, the order number, the order date, the customer number, and the customer name, is that we have to take the customer number from the order and match it to the customer number in the customer table. And that way we can retrieve the customer name from the customer table. Now that's called a join. And uh, how we did this is here. Here's the uh, actual SQL to do it. Uh, we say um, uh, select. Uh, then we list the fields that we want to select in the order that we want them to go. And uh, this, uh, and notice actually that the result of our query uh, it becomes a new table. Uh, relational databases are tabular. We say tabular, uh, meaning that everything is done in tables. Uh, the, the data that we uh, retrieve from is in a table. And the data, the result becomes a table. So we create a new table. And if we have these fields in it, the order number, the order date, the customer number, and the customer date, this will answer the question. Um, and so where do we get the data to make that table? We get it from the orders table and the customer table. Now, I've used this thing called that alias here. The alias is orders. I don't want to have to type orders every time I want to refer to orders. I'm going to use the alias O. And for customer, I'm going to use the alias C. And so then the last part of our query is we say, well, Really, the only way this is going to work is if the customer number in the customer table is the same as the customer number in the orders table. And so we make that as a filter. Uh, and so we say select uh, these fields from these two tables where the customer number is the same in both tables. And that gives us our result. And if you, I can run it again, and there's our result. So that is how you answer that question. And I hope that helps.